I'm leaping for leap day! Hey everyone and welcome to Bringing Smart Back. So this year is a leap year. That means that there are 366 days instead of 365 days. But how does this happen? First off, you need to know exactly what a year is. A year is how long it takes the Earth to make one full circle around the Sun. And we measure this in days. And a lot of people think that there are 365 days in a year. But they're wrong. There's 365.25 days. That means that every year we get an extra 25th of a day, which is a fourth of a day, which would equal to six hours. So it could get confusing if we put a day that only lasted six hours on our calendar. Like, what do you do during those six hours? Do you sleep? Do you eat? Do you do your schoolwork? Do you play video games? It's way too confusing. So they just kind of leave it off the calendar. But it would have a huge problem if we left it off the calendar forever. Because we have this thing called seasons. We have spring, summer, winter, and fall. And if you live in America, you know that we celebrate Christmas in the winter. Whereas Australians, they celebrate Christmas in the summer. But if you never counted that one-fourth of a day, those little six hours, then everything would get backwards. And in a hundred years, Americans would be celebrating Christmas in the summer. And Australians would be celebrating Christmas in the winter. Everything would be completely backwards. So we can't just leave it off forever. But there's no way just to add a day just of six hours. So we wait until every four years, and then we add a whole day. Because one year is one-fourth of a day. But if you keep accumulating all of those, it equals up to four-fourths, which makes a whole day. And since February is the shortest month of the year, they just stick that extra day on the end of February. So, can you guess how many days are in February this year? If you guessed 29, you would be right. This year is a leap year, which means that we finally get to count those six hours that we've just been forgetting about. This is amazing. And this only comes once every four years. You know what's funny is some people are born on a leap day. That means they're born on February 29th. That means that they only get to celebrate their actual birth date every four years. So I know what you're thinking. Does that mean that they only get one year older every four years? No, most leap people decide to celebrate their birthday on the 28th. Since this year we get a whole extra day, I challenge you to do something awesome with your day. I mean, it only comes once every four years. That means that if you're eight years old, you won't get another leap year until you're 12. So it's a really big deal. So make the most of your leap day. Also, I have a question for you. Were you born in a leap year? I was born in the year 2000, which was a leap year. And an even better question is, are you born on a leap day? If so, let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great time the next two weeks. Don't forget to celebrate your leap day. Also, if you would like worksheets, links, and more about the leap day, you can visit www.bringingsmartback.com under lesson plan 20. Also, you can follow Bringing Smart Bag on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. And just another reminder, Bringing Smart Bag only posts on the second and fourth Wednesday of every month. I hope everyone has an awesome leap day and I will see you later. Bye!